Jim White here with today's Antelope Point Kitchen Minute. Now, we've gotten a lot of people calling in saying, hey, we think it's really cool that you did this rice stuff and all that, but ooh, it gets boring after a couple days. Well, let me give you a little kicked up rice. This is really fun. Get some of this rice, and we're not calling a sponsor because they're not paying us, but it is kind of a cool rice, so we won't mention the name, but it is pretty good rice. You take it out of there, and here's the first secret to making this stuff. Follow the recipe right off the box. It's not rocket science. If it was, Chef Jim wouldn't get it. But only use half of the seasoning packet. And you know why? Because it's full of sugar and sodium. So again, we're talking about coming down to the lake. We're floating here past the fuel dock where you're going to be standing. And believe me, you don't want to look like a bloated warthog when you come down here. Okay, so half the packet, folks. Come down here looking svelte and fit. We're going to take that and cook it just like it's supposed to. We're going to add about a teaspoon of sriracha sauce, which is sushi ketchup is pretty much what they call it. You can get this at any of the stores. They all have it, and it's inexpensive for this big jar. We're talking about like $2.50 for this whole thing. Great on hot dogs, by the way. We're going to add that, and then we're going to add in about two tablespoons, me, tablespoon, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. You're going to pour that right into the rice before you cook it. So now, once it comes to a good simmer, and you think it's just about getting ready to get done, oh, oh, now here's the fun part. We're going to add some portobello mushrooms and some broccoli right into the rice, and we're going to simmer that down just until the broccoli and mushrooms get tender. Put a cover on it, simmer it down until the broccoli and mushrooms get tender. Stir that around. So now you got covered. You got your veg covered, you got your starch covered. All you got to add to that is a little bit of protein. Again, guys, six ounces, gals, four ounces, and you're going to have an incredible meal. Remember, the rice is great. And next, we're going to show you a really cool recipe for what to do with the leftovers. I'm Chef Jim with today's Antelope Point Kitchen Minute. Remember, we do it. You can't do it unless you come down here with us. Rock the dock.